PDN News updates. Here is Bradley Bartonico from our PDN Newsroom. This is brought to you by our sponsor, KFC Guam. The Guam Police Department launched an internal affairs investigation into allegations that uniformed police officers were directed or used by Guam Visitors Bureau Management to harass, intimidate, and serve a termination notice in April to then GBB Director of Tourism Research and Strategic Planning, Nico Fujikawa. Chief of Police Stephen Ignacio confirmed the investigation for the Pacific Daily News on Friday, just after the governor signed a proclamation declaring the week of May 12 National Police Week. Internal memos from GVB confirmed that a member of the agency's staff was told to escort two GPD officers and a GVB visitor safety officer to deliver an envelope to Fujikawa's home on April 10. A termination appeal that Fujikawa filed with the Civil Service Commission asserts that officers were attempting to serve him his termination notice. Hundreds of pages of documents filed with the Civil Service Commission detail several disputes between Fujikawa and GVB management over a number of months. In other news, a recently released study by the U.S. General Accountability Office said that resolving big gaps in data collection for Guam and other U.S. territories could enhance federal assistance. GAO, the investigative arm of Congress, said it did the study because the U.S. government needs evidence, including statistics, to guide decision-making, evaluate the effectiveness of programs, and determine where best to target resources. GAO has previously reported that Guam, American Samoa, the Northern Marianas, Puerto Rico, and the U.S. Virgin Islands continue to face a range of economic challenges, such as outmigration and population loss, and high costs of energy and imported goods. Japanese retail giant Don Don Donkey will be extending its store operations to 24 hours a day, 7 days a week starting today, the company announced over the weekend. This comes just a few weeks after the massive store's April 25 grand opening into Muning, with initial store hours of 6 a.m. to 12 midnight. The 24-7 operation means people can come and shop at Don Don Donkey any hour of any given day, including late-night shoppers and early birds. In other news, a total of six earth-covered reinforced concrete and steel magazines for the storage of munitions are planned for construction at Naval Base Guam's Naval Munitions Site at Erode Point. Construction of the new magazines, which will store munitions for the Navy, is planned in support of the relocation of thousands of Marines from Okinawa to Guam, according to a NAFAC memo. The project also requires pavement for driveways and new access roads, concrete for aprons and retaining walls, and an approximately 1,000 meter long chain link security fence. Several sites eligible for listing in the National Register of Historic Places are inside the area expected to be impacted by construction. That includes several Armco type magazines that were built shortly after US forces retook Guam in World War II, according to the memo. For more on these stories, go to guampdn.com and follow us on social media.